I, the small business that I have to run in Smithfield in the centre of Dublin is due to reopen uh, for the first time since the 16th of March next Monday on the 8th of June. Uh, but it's going to be very different from what we had before we closed. Instead of uh, 21 staff, which is our normal number in there, there will be five staff working in there. Instead of people uh, wandering in and out, sitting down, being comfortable in that space, in that cafe space that we have, uh, people will have to stay standing, form a queue, and as soon as they've, they've got whatever it is they've ordered, then they will have to, to leave again change is coming and change has already come and the temptation in me is to wish that it could be exactly the way it was before because it seems to be good and it seems to be working really well and now it's not it's going to be different and for all of us in the the last three months that has been our experience no matter who we are no matter what our situation no matter where we are in the world uh, we have experienced change during this time. And the temptation in all of us is to think, if only it could go back the way it was. If only we could have what we had before. Maybe we didn't appreciate it enough. Uh, maybe uh, we should have paid more attention to it. But we long to go back there. It seems to me that, that as those who uh, choose, have chosen to take the path of following Jesus and of, of learning from him. We uh, need to learn from him how to let go of the past and to leave it behind and to move forward with him. I was reminded today of a, of a passage in the Old Testament uh, book of Isaiah uh, where the, the prophet is writing um, and speaking the words of God to the people of God. And there's, there's some discussion about the context, but I think it's probably to the people of Israel after they've been led away into exile by the Babylonians, forced into exile by the Babylonians. And they're thinking about the way it used to be when they were in Jerusalem, when they were comfortable in their own place, in their own land, and they've lost all that and how they would long to have it back again. And this is what um, the... the uh, the prophet Isaiah writes to the people at that time, this is what he says to them. He says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am wake, making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. One of the hardest things for me in relation to the business reopening is that whole sense of unknown and lack of security. No idea of how many people will come in, no idea of uh, if there's going to be enough money to make the business work, uh, no idea uh, whether our, our old customers are all going to come back again. That sense of, of not being able to co control anything that, that you had before. And the challenge for me is to be able to believe in the new thing that's happening and to believe that somehow uh, we can participate together uh, with God in what is happening and to go with confidence and with joy into what it is that the future is going to look like. And I know as much about that as probably you do. We have no idea what it's going to look like. But the the challenge of the prophet uh, to those people at that time, and it seems to me to us as well today, is are we willing to follow, to be led by someone who knows the way, someone who is the way, and go confidently into the future and to trust in the one who is doing a new thing? Are we able to give ourselves the time and the space and the quietness to learn to perceive it. Do you not perceive it? It says, now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? So in the coming days, uh, I suppose my challenge for this week and for the coming weeks is, can we perceive what's going on? Can we give ourselves time, space, and quietness to pause, to meditate, to read God's word, to reflect on both the words and the actions of Jesus 
and to allow ourselves to begin to perceive what it is that's happening and what particular role each of us have in it. Because if God is at work and if we are the people of God, then God has a role for us to play in it. And in all this turbulence and change, we are given the opportunity by God to be a part of it, to play our part and to do so with confidence and with assurance that because we are working with him rather than working on our own, that we will go through it and we will come out to wherever it is that we are meant to be to come out to. There is a way in the wilderness. There are streams in the wasteland. We're invited to walk that way with him, to perceive it and to walk with him. God bless you as you uh, work on doing that through this week and the weeks to come.